Hey all, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games in Shanghai. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I hope everyone's had a great Christmas and a great New Year and has made lots of resolutions for 2013 and everything's going well. Uh, for the fellow developers out there, I hope you've had a really good Christmas as well in, in terms of downloads and uh, uh, sales and so on because we seem like quite a, quite a big bump over the Christmas uh, days from say the 25th to the 28th. So I hope you guys have seen that as well, and you've you know you've made plenty of money over at the end of December. So anyway, today's video, um, I'm back after a couple of weeks. Uh, my apologies for being late. I was actually in France and then in England a couple of weeks ago, uh, but I'm back now in Shanghai doing some more videos. So hopefully I'll catch up and then also reply to the messages that you guys have sent over the past couple of weeks, um, and you know give you guys some feedback and hopefully some direction as well. So this video today, anyway, is something that I tried maybe um, two weeks ago, something like this. And I'd heard this from, uh, someone had replied with a comment uh, on one of the, on our YouTube channel. And they said, hey, you should try this out. So, uh, and it had pretty good results for us. And so I'm going to explain it today. And, and this should hopefully give you guys some more downloads as well and, and you know, increase your rank uh, specifically on Android. This is a, an Android video, um, specifically more on Google Play. So basically within Unity 3.5 or the uh, Unity 3 series, you can build a game for uh, ARM v7 architecture and ARM v6 architecture. Uh, and all those are from, from what I know is basically two types of um, CPU architecture within mobile devices. ARM v6 being the older one and ARM v7 ARM being the newer one. Uh, and then 8 and 9 and so on as, as, as uh, mobile devices get more advanced. So basically when you build a, an Android game in Unity, if you have an Android game that can also run on ARM v6 devices, that means that your game can get downloaded more often. Now the way that you do that, I'll just quickly show you inside of Unity. If you go to File, Build Settings, Player Settings, and then on the inspector on the right here, if you go to uh, the other settings uh, drop down here, then inside of device filter, you can see we've got two. We've got ARM v7 only and ARM v6 with VFP. Now, if you build for ARM v6 with VFP, which is, I think it's virtual floating point. That's just what it means, I think. It, I didn't really, I don't have to know that anyway. But if you build for ARM v6 with VFP, you can also run the game on ARM v7 devices. So for example here, my basic test device is this Google Nexus One. And this is an ARM v7 phone, but I can also run ARM v6 with VFP games. So I tested my game on this, this device, okay? So just so you know, if you build with ARM v6, it can also work on ARM v7 phones. And I, I've tested on two devices, okay? So let me just go back to my notes here. So uh, we can run on more devices. Uh, look under the build settings. Yeah, that's that's how you do it. So just so you know, if you set if you click this setting here, ARM v6 with VFP, and then you just click build, it will just build as you would normally with an ARM v7 uh, device filter. So it's pretty much the same thing. You don't have to do anything extra. So just so you know, it's pretty simple. Um, so okay. So the 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 um, question or the problem is that when you build for an ARMv6 device uh, with VFP, what that means is in the Google Play market is that your game is now visible to all ARMv6 devices, the older devices, even older than this one here, okay? The issue is that devices that are ARMv6 can now download the game, but they can't run the game unless they are ARMv6 with VFP. I believe that's the case, okay? Um, and I'll actually point you to a forum thread in a moment, which, which has talked more about this in detail, which can explain better than what I'm explaining right now. But if they have an ARMv6 device, they can download your game. They can see it when they do a search in Google Play, but they can't download it. They can download it, but they can't run it. The game will crash. They need to have an ARMv6 device with VFP, okay, which is sli a slightly newer device, I believe, okay. But ARMv7 phones can also still see the device listing and uh, the, the game listed and they can download it and play it, no problem. So why build to ARMv6? It's basically because it means that you can get more downloads because people with ARMv6 phones can now see your game or application in the Google Play Market. Because if you just choose an ARMv7 building, uh, build here under, under Unity, that means Google Play will automatically filter out all the devices that that are ARMv6 that can no longer see your phone, that, that, so they can't see your game. 
that means that devices with ARM v6 and, and VFP, they also can't see your game, which means less downloads, which means a lower ranking, which means less money overall if, if you're monetizing your, your games. So uh, that's why we were built for an ARM v6, and that's what, we, that's what I did a couple of weeks ago to test, and, and I can show you the, the, uh, the downloads and, and the, you know, the increase that we got. So, okay, so only devices, uh, okay, ARM v6 devices can download, but it will crash. So the, the point is, if you do build with an ARM v6 and VFP architecture um, inside of Unity, uh, I would suggest probably not doing it with a paid game, because if somebody pays for your game or application, then they download the game. If they can't run it, and then they've just wasted their $1 or $2 or whatever, unless they do the, the refund through Google Play. Uh, I think a lot of people don't actually know about that, so it's be careful if you have a paid application uh, or game. Hours are free, so it's not a major, major problem. They'll download the game, it won't run, and uh, we actually put something in the description to say, hey, sorry, you need a VF, you need ARM v6 with VFP. Um, it's a slightly newer device, blah, blah, blah. If you can't download the game, if you can't play the game, our apologies. Uh, it's a free thing, so they don't, they've just wasted a little bit of time, they've not wasted any money. Okay, so just, just so you know, guys, be careful of that. Um, if you build for an ARM v6 with VFP architecture inside of Unity, you will notice a lag in the game, a considerable drop in performance, and especially on like an older device like this one here, the Google Nexus One. I've also tested this on a Sony Xperia, um, which is one of the newer Sony Xperias. I can't remember which model exactly. But what happens on the older devices is that when you, when a sound is being played, it will, uh, together with other sounds, it will start to crackle. If a lot of sounds play at the same time, you will notice a huge amount of distortion and crackling and the frame rate will drop severely low. Now, there is a couple of ways to optimize this that I've found. Newer devices might not have such a problem, but if your game is quite complex, if you've got a lot of sounds, a lot of activity in the game, then please test on an older device and a newer device to see how that goes because you could be affecting the user experience. So far with our game here, this uh, our game uh, Gangnam Style versus uh, Dance Zombies, we've not had a major problem and we're still getting five stars. And I think because players are actually playing on newer devices, it's not causing so much of an issue. Okay, so just be aware, please test with this first guys, you will see a performance drop. Um, so uh, to adjust this, if you do find a problem with the sound, if you do find a problem with the frame rate reducing and um, you're getting a lot of distortion, try to adjust the sound properties, which I find found did help. And I also tried to cut out some of the sounds. So for example, when we shoot one of the zombies here in the scene, um, the zombie will have a, like a scream sound plus a gun sound plus a splat sound, like a, like a, like a kind of blood splat sound. I took away the blood splat sound and I also reduced the sound quality on the screams and also on the gun sound. So the way to do that is if you have a sound here, like we have sound die, uh, sound die one, go to the audio clip and then if you click on the audio clip itself, then what you can do is you can adjust the quality here and just make it go up and down and try to get something which, you know, uh, doesn't sound terrible in your game. If you have a lot of sounds, you can reduce it down a little bit more because people won't generally notice. But play around with these settings here, then click apply, and that will reduce the sound quality. And as you can see here, uh, the kilobytes is the actual, uh, the size of the sound file once it's on your device, okay? So um, let me just go to the other point as well, which was, uh, I think it was the eye sound. There we go, sound die. The other one as well is to try to adjust this priority value here. Uh, for music, what I would say is uh, the recommendation is to go down to zero. The lower the priority, that means that is um, uh, actually the priority order zero here means it's the highest priority. It means the sound is played first. So for music, it's recommended that you use priority zero. Uh, if you have a lesser, a lower priority sound that you don't care if it goes into the background a little bit, then make this number higher. So what I tried to do is basically with these uh, sound die one two three four these are the, when the zombies get shot and they make like a scream sound is I tried to make these lower to say like 140 then I made down uh, sound die 2 to 150 and then sound die 3 to 169 so that they all have different priorities so that when all those sounds are played together they won't distort as much 
Um, I, I need to test that a little bit more. I don't know if that's technically exactly how it works, but I did see a performance uh, improvement when I reduced the sound quality, like I just showed you, and I also played around with the sound priority. Okay, so this problem did not occur on ARM v7 uh, when I built for an ARM v7 architecture inside of the Unity build settings. This only happened when I built for ARM v6 with VFP. So it's it's a double-edged blade. It's one is you get more downloads, but one is you you reduce the quality of the game. So you have to kind of balance it. All right. So please test. So okay. So we said sound. So downloads will increase. So yeah, we saw an increase in the downloads in in our game. This one here that I just showed you, the the uh, Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies. Uh, let me just <laughs> go back a second and I'll because I don't know what my original setting was here. Okay, that's fine. So um, let me just go to, so this is our Google Play uh, portal here for um, Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies. Now we did an update on the 18th, if I can check. Yeah, roughly the 18th, okay. So on the 17th, as you can see here, what I'm highlighting is uh, this was in fact a Monday, if I am correct. Yeah, it's December the 17th, uh, 2012 was a Monday. So on this day, the downloads were normal, and there's obviously a, a reduced because it's a Monday, and after the weekend, there's less likely to be more downloads. What we usually see is, uh, like you've seen here, is Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, and then just a sort of steady line, and then an increase as the weekend comes up. Now, look on the 18th, there was a jump. So 298 to 462, and that's not bad for a, a small indie game. This is not a marketed game. This doesn't have any kind of uh, advertising campaign or, or uh, CPI, cost per install campaign, where you buy users. So, but we saw an increase. So uh, this was, we originally this version here on the 17th was the ARM v7 version. We then updated it to the ARM v6 with VFP and we got a jump. And ever since then it's had the week after the few days after, it also increased as well, which is great. And then this big jump here is obviously Christmas uh, 25th and so on. But you can see, guys, if your game is already popular, you might get a huge jump from um, from the actual uh, changing that to an v 6 with VFP architecture. So I would recommend checking it out, and I'd recommend having a play. I read in one of the forums that 25% of their users at the moment are using v 6 uh, devices. And so you know, a lot of the argument is now everything is moving on to v 7 now. Okay, that's fine, but 25% of the user install base is kind of a big chunk, so I would recommend checking out ARMv6 if you've not already tried this. The, uh, the, if you do get more downloads as well in the Google Play market, and the, the actual number of downloads, if it's higher, improves your rank as well inside of the Google Play market, inside of the search results. And that in turn increases the visibility of the game, and therefore you can get more downloads. So it's it's uh, it becomes more viral or becomes uh, more organic. The discovery becomes more organic. So we definitely see an improvement. I recommend you know I, I'm interested to know if you guys did see an improvement. Please drop a comment. Uh, I'm really interested to find out how that went for you guys. Uh, so we did have some negative impact. We did have some players coming back to us and saying, "Oh, the game lags. It's not good." But overall, um, we've got pretty much like a good set of star ratings. So I'll just quickly go to my um, the ratings tab here, the, the comments from users. And this is going to be a little bit slow, so sorry about this. And da, 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 just one moment. All right, so Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies. And then if I go to comments. So awesome. Also, this is, these are the latest comments as well at the top. Um, really fun upgrades, blah blah blah. So four star, two stars. Um, so the song gets annoying and keeps freezing and glitching. So this is one of the users' uh, bad feedbacks, and we can see here what the device that the device that they're using. So I don't know right now if that's an older one or a newer one, but if you're seeing these kind of comments in your uh, comments, guys, then you can check the device and then see if you have the device. You can test on it or find out if it's an older device. Um, I think I might have couple of, got a couple of other mentions of it glitching but I think it's a good way to keep uh, keep an eye on it but the overall guys I mean I'm you know the game is still getting a lot of five stars here as you can see um, one star there uh, I don't know what that says but definitely check it out and try to test it as long as you're not affecting your user experience too much you should likely get an improvement 
on the on the uh, downloads and therefore the ranking. So definitely, please let me know how that goes. I'm really interested to find out if other developers have the same experience or not. Uh, the forum to check out as well, if you're looking for some more technical feedback on this, because I, I honestly, I don't know technically how HomeV6 or HomeV7 works, I'm not an expert in that area, is I'll leave this, uh, this thread link here in, in the description. But uh, just to show you here, this is, this is uh, the link that, the, the thread that is, people are talking about this whole topic on. Uh, and it's pretty cool. I've made a couple of comments here as well. Uh, that's, that's me, the chick thing there. So I'll leave that in the description and check it out. You can also get more technical or specific information from that thread as well. And uh, oh, so yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. But I wanted to say a big thanks to uh, Sanjay uh, ba 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 Bahambu. Bahambu, yeah. I think I had seen your comment before or, or you'd asked me some, some uh, questions before on one of the other videos. But Sanjay, thank you so much, really. I mean, that was this was something that I didn't know about before, previously, until you mentioned it. I think your comment, you said, hey, Martin, can you can you make your games into ARMv6 because I can't play on my device at the moment? And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I, and then I tried to do it so that you could, just so that you could play it. And then what I found was an increase in downloads, and I seen this thread. And so, you know, thank you so much for sharing that. That's something I didn't know about before. Uh, please keep sharing the tips as well because these are really, really useful and I hope other people have found uh, will also get something useful out of this and, and they'll increase the downloads. Uh, for the game, everyone, as always, uh, please download and rate the game. Uh, it's not on iPhone at the moment. It's on Google Play right now and it's also on the Amazon App Store. It's free to download. Uh, if you just do a search for Gangnam Style versus Dance Zombies, and I'll put the link in the description as well. Uh, if you do download, please rate the game as well. This is always uh, useful and it really, really supports us as always. Uh, and also, please click that like button down there in YouTube somewhere. That also helps. So please tap it. But anyway, um, for now, guys, uh, I'm going to come back with more videos. I hope you found this really useful. Drop again any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to you. And I'll also reply to the other comments that people have left really soon as well. Anyway, for now, guys, have a great 2013 and happy developing. Okay, bye-bye.